Hi everyone, it's Maria from the Richardson Simple Living. I said I was going to give a quick review of what Sean did on Monday. So uh, she's finished now. So I'll just show you what she's been through and done today. We started the morning, we did some simple um, times tables, as you can see. I've just printed them all out and sheets and left her then just to answer them because she does need to go over these from time to time she does forget very easily so basic stuff um that's what we did for maths today i found some dot to dot things as well dinosaurs she used to be mad on them and i found some that i downloaded a long time ago and obviously never used so i printed a couple of them off as well so she did do them as well after she'd finished the timetables so she had nice, quick, simple maths today. Um, then after that, we did a comprehension again. Um, show you which bit she did today. Oh, find it. We've nearly come to the end of this book, but I have got some downloaded from Twinkle that we can do so today she did scott of the antarctic so she read all the writing all the paragraphs and then she had answers to do i haven't marked or checked them yet i've got to do that in a minute so she did all that and she'll do this book again on wednesday and it follows on on Wednesday with Scott's last letter to my widow. And she'll read that and do questions again. But that one's on Wednesday. So it's the other half of what she's done today. Actually, I was looking through this book because I did the um, collab with Victoria from Home Educating the Mad Lads. And we were talking about favourite books at Christmas. And I was saying that I liked... Um, Christmas Carol, because I like Charles Dickens. And I notice, toward the end of here, we've actually got a Victorian Christmas um, read-up and write-up. And it it's an extract from the novel of Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. So I might keep that till the week that she breaks up for her Christmas holidays. So, yeah, and I did notice that and I thought, oh, I'll keep that one for the last week when she breaks up. <laughs> and then that was this morning. And also this morning we do some Bible reading. Well, I did start off reading from the actual Bible, but it was quite deep for Sean to do. Oh, I don't know. What, I pressed something there. It was quite deep for Sean to do. So what we've done, I had a book when I was young. You can see she's got no cover on now. It's all tatty. Look at the state of that. No back cover, no front cover. But I had it for Christmas. As you can see down there, and my name, and even put Bible, as though I didn't know what it was. <laughs> and Christmas, age eight. So that this book is nearly half a century old. So no wonder it's got no covers. But so yeah, we've been reading through this one so on a mondays we read through the bible source. it's really nice lovely colored pictures only thing is i turned the book over the pages a lot when i was young and some of them were still bent uh, <laughs> turn straight to a christmas one today's theme seems to be christmas although i say today it'll be actually tomorrow when i download this for you so yesterday's theme was christmas <laughs> But I'm um, not sure, we'll have a look where we've got to. It is lovely coloured pictures. And each week we're reading some of it and then we've um, been discussing it. We've been doing Moses for over the past couple of weeks and today we've been reading these sections of Moses, sort of coming to the end of Moses' life now. And Balaam and the King of Moab. Balaam and the angel, the donkey. And we have got to 
Oh, we did Moses' last words to his people today. It's really nice reading this book. I mean, whether you can still get these books, I don't know, maybe on eBay. It's their old books. And there's our marker. So next week now, because we don't do Bible reading every day, we do it on a Monday. So next week we're going to start with the death of Moses. And we read that and we discuss it as we go. Oh, mind you, there's not much of that one, is there? Go on to the rise of Israel. There's not a lot of that. Perhaps I could have finished that one today if I'd known that. <laughs> she said I didn't look too far in advance. But yeah, um, we read it each week. And we read so many sections and we discuss the sections. And sometimes uh, we get the Bible out and we check out the scriptures on them. To check that... To, that story's not been made up in because it's a children's book but it hasn't done it i've never known it to be but it's good to check for proof for sean to see that so yeah so we do that then we break off for dinner then after dinner we've been doing our key stage three science year seven workbook i bought what i thought was a revision guide for it to work through and then this is like the workbook but it wasn't it was a bit like my geography and history books I bought for her they um they've got um like the reading and then the questions so it doesn't cover everything that this book covers today we've, we've done a couple of pages so we're, we're having to google it you see we go on to BBC Bite Size we're having to google that was last week to get um what we need to know so we've been working scientifically today this was a bit difficult because we couldn't find anything on it that we needed to know so we've had to guess some of it from what we thought and uh, then we went on to talking about asthma which is quite apt because Sean suffers asthma and she has to have inhalers so she recognised everything that this was saying and asking of her and she knew what to write and she understood all this quite well and again then we had a little discussion on that then so yes that was uh science she's not keen on science she doesn't like science and i think that's one of the things she'd like to drop really but because i bought the other book we'll have to do the other book when we finish this book, we'll go for that. So probably by the end of year eight, we'll be dropping science. And then, quick flashing that because it always loiters on it. We did um, the Rose Rivers reading. We've got quite a way to go on that, as you can see. I was hoping we could start on the um, Jacqueline Wilson Christmas stories. Well, excuse me, you can see my foot with got Santa socks on. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I was hoping we yeah we'd start on the Christmas stories, perhaps by Christmas, but I think it'll be more after Christmas. But I'm sure some of the stories are winter related, not just about Christmas. So it'll be all right. <laughs> so yeah, that's today's lessons. Um, that's what we normally do on a Monday. And I've obviously I've showed you Tuesday to Fridays last week. It was only Mondays I couldn't do because she'd been off sick. So now, hopefully, um, this will go out tomorrow, Tuesday, although it's related to Monday. And it's Monday while I'm filming it, but it'll go out tomorrow, Tuesday. And then probably be Thursday for the homeschool cooking vlog when we see you then. And take it from there. <laughs> we'll have a chat then and we'll cook. Um, I'm hoping for Sean to do egg custard egg custard tart so we'll see see how it goes <laughs> so thank you for watching and i'll chat to you soon so bye for now